Hey Charlie, uh, this is Jason Denman in Deerfield, New York. Uh, the short version of my question is to say that uh, I like IPA, but I'm looking to brew something lighter that won't kill me and whatnot. But I don't like the standard session IPA that's in vogue these days because they're to me they're just mostly poorly balanced. So if I want to brew a standard pale ale, say five and a half percent, and really get the hop aroma to pop, and be supported by like a foundation. I just thought if you uh, have any suggestions for recipe development, you could expound. Um, maybe some specialty malts that might hold it together, water treatments, any any clever ideas you have, I'd love to try out. Thanks. All right, Jason, that's some questions you got. You want, from what I understand, you want me to advise you on how to make what you call a balanced session IPA. Now, every beer drinker has their own idea about what a balanced session IPA is. I'm going to imagine that you like a session IPA that has some malt balance and that's not over the top bitter. Okay? So that's what I'm going to advise you on. I'd suggest, let's say you're making a five gallon batch of home brew, make it about 4% alcohol, put about a half a pound of some aromatic malt in. Put a half a pound of some honey malt in the beer. Put a half a pound of crystal malt. All those malt will give a nice body and malty character to your beer. Now, you're gonna hop your beer, don't overdo the bitterness, but have a lot of good aromatic flavorful hops that have a lot of fruity character like Citra, or Galaxy Hop, or Mosaic, that's a great one. Those are three examples. Your homebrew shop can advise you too. But fruity hops, and add them at the last 10 minutes of the boil, and then add a whole another charge of hops right at the end of the boil. Don't put a whole lot of bittering hops at the beginning of the boil. And then when you ferment, ferment it out, put it in a secondary, and dry hop with some, what I like to do is use hop pellets, Galaxy, Citra, Amarillo, maybe, well, I'd stay away from Simcoe because it sounds like you don't like the aggressive flavors of some of those kinds of hops. Uh, fruity hops, even Cascades, put it in the late dry hopping. Let it, let it sit there for another week, bottle or keg it, and you'll have the smoothest, most well-balanced session IPA that I would like. Hopefully you will too. Cheers, Jason.